LA2PL, the Laser Bob Level Outdoor, comes with a laser, protective vinyl laser pouch, a metal wall plate, magnetic ceiling target, a multi-use adapter base, a pulse line receiver, batteries and a hard shell case. The LA2PL comes with a laser, a protective vinyl laser pouch, a metal wall plate, a magnetic ceiling target, a multi-use adapter base, batteries and a hard shell case. Hi, I'm Jason Becker with Stabila and I want to show you a new tool that Stabila came out with called the Laser Bob Level. It's the latest design that we have in our tool pouch category and what I mean by tool pouch category is that the laser is small enough to fit in your tool pouch. The reason for that is that it's with you all the time then whenever you need it, it's there. Um, the tool pouch category is getting more and more popular right now and the reason is that it works faster and better than a rotating laser within a certain range. And the range that they're designed for is 100 feet, 100 feet and less. And if you think about the applications that you work on, whether you're doing residential or commercial, the jobs might be 300 feet or 500 feet, but the actual jobs that you're working on are usually 50 feet and less. So these lasers work faster and make you, make you work faster, it makes you a lot more money. This one in particular here is our new hybrid design. What I mean by hybrid is it's got two different technologies built into it. At Stabila, we take a lot of time to go out on job sites, ask a lot of questions of, uh, of contractors, and uh, we try to find out what works for them, what doesn't work for them, um, what they need, what they don't need, and we don't try to give them something they don't need. So what we did with this one is we asked so many people about small lasers like this, whether they have dots or lines, it didn't matter, we wanted to find out what they used. On the dot lasers, we found out that 90% of the time they were using a plumb up and down dot and only 10% of the time were they using any of the level dots or the square dots. And then when it came to, to line lasers, like cross line lasers or whatever, we found out that 75% of the time they're using a horizontal line and only 25% of the time were they using a vertical line. So what we did is we incorporated both those technologies into one laser. We have the 90% plumb dot and we have the 75% horizontal line. What that really means when it comes down to it is you bought a laser that you're going to use more often for more applications, all right? So now on this one here, another thing that we find out, and you know of course, is that lasers like this cost a lot of money, but they take a lot of abuse too. And so we had to make a laser that would take the, the, the abuses of the job site that you work on. So this laser here was designed to take a three foot drop to concrete. I don't recommend everybody just throw their lasers around, but what we did is we tried to make a laser that would make it and last long enough, make your investment proper. One more thing I want to show you about this is maybe a couple of applications that you would use this on to make it important, all right? So on this laser here, uh, with the new design, we built a pendulum lock into it. And what that means is when I turn the laser on, I free the leveling mechanism on the laser. When I shut it off, it locks up the insides. So it takes even more of an impact. So when I put it down here, I actually turn it on like this. Automatically, that plumb dot turns on. And if you look up at the truss right there, even in this bright light, I can see that fine laser point right there. So what I would do is either get up on a ladder or a lift and go mark that. So the next thing I would do is I just simply pick up the laser, walk back six or 10 feet, and do the same thing all over again. So I'm gonna walk back here, and I'm gonna put the laser on the ground, but because we have an open truss layout like this, I actually have to slide the laser until I see the beam. So I slide it into place, and there I go. So I simply then just get up on the ladder, make that second mark, snap the line, and that wall's ready to get built. The next thing that these plumb bob lasers are great for though is if we had a, a difficult layout like a radius or an angle because in that case a rotating laser can't do that so the plumb bob lasers are here to stay we use them every day now that we have the wall layout transferred up to the ceiling here next thing we do is frame the wall but if you think about whenever you look at a wall there's either windows doors maybe some backing there's other things that we need to level out have level with each other or lined up that's where that horizontal line comes in and on this version right here we have a 150 degree fan angle. And what we mean by that is that laser actually opens up to 150 degrees, so it covers everything in front of it. So when we go to connect it onto the wall, we have this accessory base that comes with it. All we have to do is take this laser and lock it in, and it's in there for good. And if you look at this bracket, there's other different uh, ways of mounting it to different types of material. We've got these brass bushings right here that enable you to be able to screw it to a wood column if you don't have steel around you. We have a 5 8 tripod mount on the bottom, uh, hook it to a standard tripod. And then on the back here, we have 
super strong magnets that stick to steel, which is perfect for a job site like this. So all I do is actually just stick it to the steel like that, make sure I'm reasonably level, and then the laser takes over from there. So I turn the laser on then, push the button on top once, which turns it into the horizontal line, let it level, and I'm ready to go. So one of the applications that we use the horizontal line for is using it as a benchmark. So what we do is we take the headers for windows, the headers for doors, maybe the backing or, or some other things like that, and we use we refer to it as a measurement to align everything at level. So on this job site right here, there's a lot of sunlight through this open roof here. So we have to, a couple different ways of being able to see the laser. One way that we'd be able to use a laser, see the laser is a reflector card like this. As I walk along, if I use this reflector card, I can see the laser pretty well. But on this job site, it's even brighter than that. So what we've done in this laser here is we incorporated pulse technology. So what we did is we made that laser actually blink so that the receiver thinks it's a rotating laser. So now with a receiver like this, outside 300 feet away, or even up close when it's real bright and you can't see the laser beam, now with the receiver, we can find a laser beam. One more application that I want to show you about this laser here and the components that come with it. You can't really see it on this job site, but later on during this job site, after they run all the HVAC, we're going to drop a ceiling in here to cover it all up. There's going to be lighting and everything hanging from there. This laser here with that big 150 degree fan angle and that solid line is the latest way to do grid ceiling real fast. And the reason is, when you use a rotating laser, you're waiting for a dot to spin around. On a job site like this that's 50 feet and less, with this horizontal line that opens up, it's fastest and easiest to see a horizontal line, okay? With this laser here, you get this metal plate that comes with it. Now this metal plate slides behind the first piece of wall angle you put up. You connect the laser, you line it up two inches below the grid, and you build your ceiling. The laser bob level also works real good inside. I'll show you a great application here. If you look in the background here, we have concrete countertops going in. So that black there, that's a form for a concrete countertop. Real high-end application, real big problem if it's not level and you have to fix it later, right? So a compact laser like this, perfect. All I have to do is set on something solid, right? The laser self-levels on its own. And remember in the back here, I have my on-off switch is also my pendulum lock. So I just unlock the pendulum. First thing that happens is that plumb dot goes on. I'm going to toggle over with that button there, and I've got a horizontal line. And if you look at that line, it's already level because it's self-leveling and it does it fast. And look at how thin it is. So now I can actually walk around the kitchen here and check these forms to that benchmark now and check and see if they're level before they form. So I just walk over here, grab my tape measure, put it down, inch and three-eighths light. Go to my next point, inch and three-eighths light. Next spot, inch and three-eighths light. And the last one right there, inch and three-eighths light. They're within a, a light sixteenth of an inch here. I think it's pretty good for what they're doing.